Okay, this is an improv improv here. On the left-hand side, we see a slide about patterns give inspiration that has some music in it that sounds like this. And on the right-hand side, we see that sound is stored on Google Drive. which it cannot play for some reason. But that's what this sound is. Then on the left-hand side, we have the very same side sound playing in Second Life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 18, Chapter, Cycles, Rehearse, Emo, Aware, Transit, Sparkle, Rewrite. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting on several things. We've been reading some short story compilations, and when we talk, uh, read authors' of short stories, they often say that it takes as much work to write a short, a good short story as to write a good novel. And we wondered if this might apply to our compositional work because we've been focusing on 60 seconds plus or minus 30, and we have written some 300 second work, but we haven't done that in a while. So we wondered what might the length, what might be the equivalent of a short story and a long story. Uh, the other thing is that we've been clarifying and posting to certain communities of shared interests, which is becoming a thing in this series. So let's jump to some examples. One of the examples is um, we've rendered a lot of vidits, video edits, vidits as we call them, and uh, Reddit has been a useful source of some tech stuff there, so we actually posted to Reddit about our experience. And then also, uh, as many people have, we've been experimenting with uh, AI-generated images, so we posted an example of that. So those are, those are emerging new communities of shared interests that we have not really shared too actively. We've known about Reddit for a while, but not posting a lot to it. Maybe that will change. We don't know. It's a new thing in our lives. Uh, we continued the world systems composition, but we highlighted that at the last highlight, so we'll skip it. The main thing is we spent a lot of time on video full edits, and we just want to brag a little bit. We finished performing Arts in the Metaverse, uh, immersive experience, 48 minutes. That just happened this week. Um, the Colors Machinima, that show happened a couple weeks ago, but this is the full 56-minute uh, uh, edit of it. And then we also, our good colleague Val, librarian, citizenship in the digital age. And we had earlier also done the student debrief with the class that Val presented to. These we broke out because they're both pretty long, but they're good stuff. They're really good stuff. So we're proud that we got that completed in our video edit series. We have a presentation coming up, a presentation coming up in nine days on composing in the hybrid metaverse. So we continued what we call the group exercises. And um, we'll show you a little, little bit of that. In the group exercises, for example, we have some uh, sounds for salad. So we've got a sound we think sounds sour. We think I have a sound that sounds sweet. Like that. And so in the group exercise, we're going to invite people to assign their own tastes to those sounds and uh, play them as a group. So it's a group exercise. Collaborative composition is the idea there. Um, we also continued working on our slides. And those look like this right now. And we just showed you uh, sound one a minute ago. We have nine of these sounds, and uh, many of the slides have those sounds. But what we're really proud of today is we finally got around 
to editing the script that goes with these slides. And um, it's kind of a multimedia script, so to speak, where we uh, not only use a lot of visual diagrams, which is normal for us in slides, but like it shows here, we have sound prompts all the way through. And we're also putting what we call sparkle in here. We're asking the audience to feed back. For example, if we played sound three, sound three here. Somewhere in here is sound three. You don't remember which one it is. Let's go here. Which one is sound three? Sound for slides. Sound three is. And so we'll ask, do you hear a difference or do they sound the same? And we'll probably have to play some of these things more than once. So we're trying to kind of warm the group up uh, into the popcorn stage, as we talked about in the last episode, of group feedback. And so this is, this is our, and the, the fun thing about this technique is we wrote the first pass about three weeks ago, and this is our complete rewrite. And we're following the tip from David Bruce Composer that he got from actually one of the Simpsons writers that said, the writer said, and we paraphrase, we hate writing, but we love rewriting. So we've learned to just write any old, pardon our French, piece of crap and get it on paper. Then the next day, when we come back, the hard part's over. All we have to do is the fun part, which is rewrite. So today we took that advice in earnest and rewrote. So... That concludes today's episode. Uh, what we like about it is getting those vid edits uh, done and posted. Um, some of, uh, in a good way, they've been interrupting our other flow of work and uh, giving us more ideas. Luckily, some of the vid edits included testing the, the group music exercise on a group of live students, and they were very generous about it and gave... Uh, good results. So we learned a little bit more about that. We hope we may do it again. And our ideas for next time are to continue working with the World Systems Score, continue working with our materials for the presentation, and our good old friend to be determined. Shout outs to Silent Lurker, as always, Steady Worker, Inspired Blender, and Vilius Vert stop by. Hello, Vilius Vert. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.